Siren provides statistics on function usage, so you can access uh, using the extra function statistic or directly from the uh, action menu here. When you open it, you have the list of all functions that, that has been called uh, from the beginning of the recording. So we find here the call directly to the quick draw vector. We have the to call to all the toolbox uh, function. We also find uh, everything regarding uh, GSOS, Product 16, and so on. Um, there is a lot of to say. So what most of the time we want to do is to focus on what the application is doing. So for that, we start first uh, the application and we wait to enter in the location we, we knew or we want to analyze. So let's go back to the menu. This part is interesting because it's pretty basic. So we stop here. Um, let's go back. Uh, so let's wait the queue to, uh, to be empty because this is filling the function statistics. Go back in function statistics. And here we have too many things, of course, because we have a mix of the everything which has done before a little bit of uh, uh, what we have seen plus uh, application itself. Uh, there are so many things everywhere that we can't, we have so hard time to find where is uh, Apple 2 js correctly uh, in everything. So first thing is usually to clear the table. Okay, we want to start from uh, a clear refresh. We can keep it open if we want and we run. We run few VBL and we wait and so we can stop. Okay, as you can see, this is full uh, fill in real time based on uh, the operation data that arrived. So here we are more focused now on what is going on in the application. We can see Apple 2 js karate function here. So application name is here. The name of the function is here. So of course, if you have the source code, you know where you are. Um, you also we can also see some other function we don't already know yet. Uh, enter point in the ROM, something linked to the memory manager. Okay, and um, uh, ERQ VBL uh, managing uh, vector. Okay, so uh, in our own function, what we already have is the address of every function. So if we want to see something, we simply have to double click and it opens a disassembly window, uh, could be the case, uh, I would say, uh, everywhere. Uh, so you can, of course, open as many disassembly uh, functions as you need. Uh, okay, so what we say here is you have statistics on all of these functions. So the number of time uh, it has been called. Okay, so sprite 0, 1, 2, and 4 are the three functions, the four functions, to display the four position of the character uh, from this one, uh, probably zero, one, two, three. So uh, no surprise that uh, on this screen, we see a lot of uh, call from this four function. And the main function is probably that one, draw mind sprite, which is probably calling the other one. So this is the number of times uh, each function has been called. The total number of cycle, uh, the cost, I would say for the 156 call was uh, 434,000 uh, cycle. The total percentage of CPU, uh, so as we can see here, the very the two one taking the most of the CPU are uh, VBL and wait for VBL because of course on the screen like that most of the time you spend is just waiting for the VBL. You have for each function the minimum cycle of execution and the maximum. On the function that simply draw it always the same. Uh, on other functions like this one, probably it depends of how many times it has to, to write or to, to call a, a sprite. Uh, some of function and the average uh, number of cycle per, uh, per function. Uh, this table can be saved directly on disk uh, if you want to uh, open it and reload it. Uh, on uh, other file, so it's function statistics. Okay, so basically it's exactly the same stuff. Uh, of course, when you have thousands of line or hundred of dozen of line, it could be interesting. Here on the small screen like that, you have everything on the screen, and probably the need to access a file is pretty limited. Now we have another way to look at it: is to uh, call for a save as a tree, which is uh, much more interesting. Save as uh, trees here. And this time we have function list, so function list uh, would be that file. Is in this time it's the uh, it's about the same than what we have uh, here. 
but instead of having every cpu function now we have simply a summary of every function uh, which has been called so this function called uh, this one which itself called this one with, uh, and so on so we have the call tree and the depth uh, so if we look at uh, which function call what what we see if we have a wait for next vbl uh, calling uh, that's the end of the function after wait for next vbl we have a check for action if nothing happens we wait again what we have also is we have interruption uh, the software has defined a heartbeat uh, interrupt it means that every vbl uh, we ask for uh, this function to be called uh, by the system so on interrupt uh, nearly every uh, vbl we have a urq vbl running and at the end it calls the increment vbl counter which is this function so basically in our side the only thing we care is just to increment a counter uh, but it goes through uh, the uh, vbl uh, interruption process what we see here in this block this block is running under uh, interruption from the beginning of the function up to the end here we have uh, statistics so this is the number of line of code so the title in the window is number of operation so the interrupt itself uh, takes 312 uh, operator uh, microprocessor operation and the total number of cycle is uh, 1200 so we need 1200 cycle just to call three line of function just to increment the counter <laughs> so uh, beware uh, using the vb interruption cost you even if you don't do anything very big uh, could cost you at least uh, 1200 uh, cycle which is <laughs> a very good news uh, now what we can see is uh, most of the time we are in, 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 in uh, inside interrupt time to time we draw st some stuff so basically drawing a uh, man sprite uh, function called uh, drawing sprite man one uh, so we call this one and so on and so on so <clears throat> if you have a complex process you can see which function calls this one and so on so you have the call tree of all of your function uh, with uh, the on-try point, uh, the expected exit point, and so on, the number of function call, number of cycle, and so on, and of course, which application uh, is involved uh, in the call itself. So pretty efficient if you want to know how many times you are called, the average uh, per function, the number of time, and so on. If you want to read a little bit more efficiently, you can, of course, delete uh, some of the most used functions. For example, wait for spot doesn't do anything than waiting. So if we delete, we can have now the total number of cycles for the operation without the one just waiting. And so you see uh, with a better percentage, which function takes the more um, time uh, in your own code. That's it for function statistics.